Welcome to Dance with Oleg app. So on this lesson, we would like to a little bit give you a secret how to move in more effective way. So the idea is anytime you take any step, you want your upper body to guide your leg. And it specially applies for cha cha, samba, uh, rumba, and jive. Those dances or swing, doesn't matter. So your upper body should guide the leg. So normally how we move our leg and body normally have at the same um, speed or in a not very good way, your leg will go first. So we'll try to avoid this as much as we can. So we try to have our body guiding, inviting the step and then only leg is coming in. So for example, if we have a basic cha-cha step, which we have a rock step two, we have back replace three and we have lock step back cha, cha, cha then we have replace back two then we have replace forward three we have forward lock step cha 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 so the biggest secret here is not to do it through your legs only because that's what we see all the time this is a mistake to do this step step cha 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 so the legs just moving to the position so what we try to do is we try to create a direction from our upper body to our leg. So for example, if you take a look at my body, my body already, I would like to go forward, already indicates that forward direction. So it's like somebody pulling you here and only after that, your legs land. Now from here, as we replace, we're moving backward. So the backward, you would never wanna have your body back this way. So you will direct your body forward and send your center back, center. So this, so this part, that's what will guide your back replace. So you have, your upper body guiding the leg two, and then your center guiding three. Now from here for the lock step, because in the lock step we have a little bit change of side, we change our side, we can have that diagonal rib cage lead, diagonal body lead before we're going for our lock steps. So instead of like before we were just stepping, we will have our body leading our step and then all you have to do just a release. And then you have this very powerful cha-cha-cha. So let's try again. So upper body leading two and three and a cha-cha-cha. Now from here, if we have a back replace, if I take a look from this angle, of course you would never want upper body to lead your back step. Uh, upper body you use for your forward and side actions, never for the back. So if you wanna go back, we wanna do a little replace. We're gonna send our center back through that standing leg and we can do for example replace two but what happens here here it's pure upper body drift the spine drift and how to control that almost like a falling sensation that's why you have to learn to use your pendulum and your compressions so if you see if i drift my spine forward and if I, at the same time i change my pendulum i have a little bit more control on the edge and that's very important. So change your pendulum, drift, drift, drift your spine, and then drift that spine direction will create your cha, cha, cha lock. So use your upper body and let's use your legs. See you in the next lesson.